Hey, hey, hey guys. I am here this morning with another video that's gonna help you get your business and your life. So you see in the title, it says, how does mass marketing work for you? How is that working for you? We're gonna talk about it on today because back in the dinosaur days, when we thought about marketing our business and our brand, we were taught to market to everybody, put out as much marketing wherever you can, whenever you can, right? And I wanna debunk that myth and how mass marketing to everybody, it just isn't working in today's times. So if this is your first time on a video, first of all, click like on the page or subscribe if you're a YouTube follower so that we can stay connected. And next I'll take a moment just to introduce myself. I never wanna take for granted that you know who I am. So I am Tanya Wilson Cherry, the founder of 3D Success Academy, a place where women come and grow their business and their life. I am the growth strategist, guys. So growing is super, 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 super important to me. I believe that everything is changing around us all the time. And we have to be in alignment so that our life grows, elevates, evolves, moves uh, in the same manner that everything around us is changing. Now, that doesn't mean that you're always changing who you are, but you're maximizing your potential and what's possible and available for you. Next, I'm a business coach and mentor to women just like you. Women who own service-based businesses, who want to possibly step into spaces of expansion. I help them to brand, build, and profit in their business. And I operate from a three-point perspective. So it's like three main things that are super important to me that I include in most of my coaching and my training. And one is abundance mindset. So you gotta have an abundant mindset if you're ever looking to grow. And I'm gonna get an opportunity to kind of talk about that. I know we're talking about mass marketing, but I'm gonna have an opportunity in our time together today to talk about um, an abundant mindset and how even who you're targeting in your business comes from a space of how you're thinking. So I focus on abundance mindset because it helps my clients to step into a space of expansion and possibility despite what they may see in front of them. And I, I also focus on personal growth, okay, because guys, the more I grow personally, the more I have understanding, the more my character is aligned with the person that I want to become, the same for you. My habits, my thoughts, my emotional intelligence, all of that stuff is personal growth. And the more we grow personally, the more our business grows. So a huge percentage of the growth that you experience in your business is going to be how you experience it in your personal growth. So I teach uh, personal growth principles to really help you step into spaces of more, to help you um, position yourself for your purpose and grow in your unique field or whatever area that you are in and create the lifestyle that you love. And then, of course, which is where I first started <laughs> as a consultant, I give amazing results-driven business strategies for women in business. On today, I wanted to ask you, how is mass marketing working for you? So we were taught to market to everybody, but guys, you know, it's flooded out here. So there are tons of people who do exactly what you do. And when you are mass marketing, it doesn't give you an opportunity to show just how unique you are, just how unique your brand is. I'll give you guys an example. So I recently posted that Dr. Cindy Trim charged $9,000 per hour for her consulting fees, and she only serviced businesses who earned a million dollars in revenue or more. Um, I had someone to comment and say, is that fair? Is there a tier? There are a lot of people who can't afford $9,000 consulting fees. That is true. But this is the point that I made about that. First of all, the high level information that she's giving at that fee is probably not information that most small businesses need at this point. Then I talked about this statement. This is where abundance mindset comes in, right? Because so often, and I teach money mindset too. So often when we look at something, we'll say, oh, I can't afford that. That's not for me. We, we house all of these feelings and these emotions that actually keep us from getting to the next level. So let's rephrase the statement, I can't afford that, to how can I afford that? See, the question alone changes the traje trajectory 
of what you will even set out to do. It changes the trajectory of the answers that you will even go in search of. But I made this statement because sometimes when people see people who are charging premium prices for their services, they may not understand that this, this person probably started from a different space and really up-leveled their expertise and their value. So they're charging based on their value, the value that they perceive and people are paying, right? So it's no different from houses, cars, um, homes. There are different ones that people aren't in a position at this present time to be able to afford, but it doesn't mean they can't aspire you know, to afford those things. So one of the mindset shifts that you can make about your money, and this is just a plug, this is just a money nugget, right? I drop money nuggets all the time, right? Life nuggets and money nuggets. One of the things that you can do to shift your mind about things that you really, you know, you look at and you may have like these feelings, these feelings that come up that aren't in alignment with it. So maybe it's something that right now you can't afford. You say, how can I afford that? It changes everything. It changes your actions and your thoughts. But I also made the point that she was also a philanthropist. So she gave tremendously, right? Because she had chosen a niche, which is what we're going to talk about today, a niche. So one of the things I do with my clients is I help them get really, really clear on who they are as a brand and then identify who their perfect people are. So I have an exercise that allows my clients to find their perfect people. It's called your perfect people. And your perfect people are people who value what it is that you do, are willing to pay for your services. They do business with you. They tell other people. They just get it, right? And they need what it is that you have. And when you are mass marketing, you are less likely to attract higher numbers of those people. And this is why. When you're mass marketing, when you're saying your business is for everyone, like everybody can get your service, which is true. They probably can find some level of value in what it is that you offer, maybe. But the likelihood of just everybody getting your service is really, really low, guys, right? And so when you begin to niche out, it creates a lane for you in this busy marketplace and helps you to be able to position yourself better. So in our brand clarity portion, and I teach all of this in my 3D Success Academy for women in business, in the brand clarity portion, one of the things we do in defining who the perfect people are, who you are as a brand, we begin to develop a niche for you. It also clears up all of this stuff. So when we're being general and we're trying to service everyone, it also means we got to know everything. We got to try to know everything. So there's this thing called the no like, and trust factor. And I'm going to come back and do a video just on the no like, and trust, trust factor. But the content that you're put, putting on social media, your marketing, your advertising, it all needs to speak to somebody, right? And if you're attempting to speak to everybody, you're going to be very general in your marketing. So you may get tons and tons of likes because, hey, a lot of people feel this way about what it is that you may have posted, but not a lot of people or not as many people need what it is that you're offering. And because you're not speaking to um, the ideal perfect people, their psychographics and things of that nature, they don't know that you're talking to them. So mass marketing is just not working anymore, guys. Well, it's working for some people, but what, what they're finding is they can't serve the people to their highest because they become so general, right? Let's think about it this way. When you go to the doctor, you have a general practitioner and then you have specialists. Who earns more money? The specialist, right? Now, there are businesses that run off of very affordable prices and they do a whole lot of people, but what level of value are you able to give your business is what you have to think about and then how are your profits in the end? So I have a portal inside 3D Success Academy called the Prosperity Portal. And in that portal, we look at your numbers. So many people are attempting to mass market and price for everybody instead of their specific people. When they do the numbers, they're like, man, is that what I'm really making? So mass marketing, out the door for me. The clients that work with me, I help them figure out who they are as a brand. It helps them to define who the perfect people are who would find value in what it is that they offer. So I'd love to hear, maybe you do mass market. I'd love to hear in the comments, how does mass marketing work for you? 
especially on social media, or are you finding that you probably need to specify, get more clear and create a more unique lane for your brand? If you are, you know, just on social media and you're like, okay, I'm getting all the likes. I have thousands of followers, but it's not converting into profits. I love to support you. Um, there'll be information below about our 3D Success Academy. It is a year long opportunity for women to grow their business and their life. It's an amazing opportunity for those of you who feel you're inundated with all these other people's ideas, right? Or you find that you're just trying things like throwing spaghetti on the wall and it's not working for you and you need clarity, not only for your business, but for your life. I believe that your life and your business are intertwined. They kind of like mesh. And this gives you a centralized focus and incubator to really spend time getting clear, focusing on your business, focusing on how you really want to create the life that you love and you deserve. This gives you the opportunity to do that. There are several tracks that we go over each and every month, uh, different topics that you can apply to your life and see results, profits, coin, fulfillment, joy, peace, clarity. Those things are priceless. 3D Success Academy. And one of the huge things we focus on is who you are and who you are as a brand. Once you get really, really clear on that, all of the other things that you have to figure out, what level of expertise you're at, where you're going to rock out at, what level of mastery is going to be your track that you set out on, the way that you present yourself and position yourself to the marketplace, all of that comes from figuring out who you are and who you are as a brand. So mass marketing, guys, I, I don't do the mass marketing thing, right? But my clients learn to market to their perfect people, make great revenue, save time, right? They increase their time freedom on their way to financial freedom. That's my take on today, guys. I'm Tanya Wilson Cherry, the growth strategist, business coach, and mentor to women service-based business owners those who may be in the seed stage, aspire, they're aspiring, uh, those who are in a growth stage, or some just need a complete reinvention, a complete, complete rebrand for their business. 3D Success Academy. Mass marketing. Is it working for you?